So I don't think I ever showed you <clears throat> my Air Opus uh, trailer. Uh, this is a fully inflatable tent trailer. You can kind of see from the, the back side without the awning on this side, it all folds up into side of itself. And then it actually uses these big solid uh, air beams fill full of air, it's like eight PSI. And then the whole thing inflates. And uh, this is kind of a unique trailer. It's actually an off-road trailer. It has a full um, articulating uh, hitch on it. Let me go to my, my truck. And it has a receiver on it that has these pins. You know, the pin, the trailer sits over there. This goes over and then a cotter pin goes in. So this thing completely articulate. The trailer itself has a double wishbone independent suspension. But then you come in side of it. And like I said, all these beams are inflatable. Big air beams. Um, and this is a, an option. They call this the air annex here. And, uh, you can also get, uh, there's a floor that you can zip in, uh, totally covers the ground. And then down here prevents the air from coming in. It all goes all the way up to the trailer. And then <clears throat> there's individual rooms here. So you can have an additional room and that all tent stakes out. So you get a little bit more room just in the driveway. But then you have a, a kitchen right here with uh, you know, water and propane, all your all your utensils and all your cooking stuff go in here. Uh, it's kind of cool too. It has a fridge cooler. Um, things are kind of out of place because I'm just getting it out of its winter slumber. Renee says she wants to use it this weekend. We'll see what happens when we get to the weekend. But yeah, you can set this for either um, a refrigerator or a freezer. It actually will go all the way down and freeze stuff. Um, and it does it pretty pretty quickly too. It doesn't use a lot of power. Um, <clears throat> but I have 40 gallons of water on this thing. I just flushed out the, uh, out the tanks. But it has a front tank and a rear tank. Uh, I'll show you why here uh, in a second. The front, front tank um goes to the kitchen and everything but then you come on come on inside and the ceilings are absolutely massive i mean this center thing i mean i'm six one and i still can't even touch the the top of the ceiling so you know you're good eight foot nine foot ceilings um in the center of the trailer so no duck in your head and then you're looking at a um a almost a queen almost a queen and then this can convert into another almost a queen or you can reconfigure the the cushions back there and then that will actually turn into a king so depending on how many people um you want to sleep in this thing you, know, you can kind of change the arrangements but real easily you know you're looking at two four six eight ten people with the two side rooms um without any real 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 hassle and everything and then you got storage uh everywhere different all these things lift up except for that one the kitchen slides are there um this one's kind of cool two giant lithium batteries right there um this is i think kind of a design flaw um i've had them switch out porta potties on me and neither one of them the porta potties uh you can actually get this to close, um, <clears throat> but they do carry a porta potty, and they say that that most people take the porta potty out whenever they're stationed somewhere, which I I do because uh, I I mean I wouldn't really want to use the bathroom in here, but this is supposed to be just a, a storage area. But still, people you know naturally want to sit on this thing, and uh, just doesn't work out right. So still got to kind of sort that out. Has a stereo system DVD player. Um, we didn't buy the internal option because a factory option, you know, this cushions cover it, there's actually a, a little compartment down there and a movie screen would come up here and then you can have a projector. So that thing's DVD 
capable. Um, I think Renee and I are gonna just get a, a portable projector and hang a bed sheet up there for the kids. And then, you know, they can watch cartoons and stuff on a giant screen TV. Um, the trailer isn't 100% bug proof, uh, but that's why each bedroom has its own little bug sheet. But I have these kind of cool little uh, USB uh, bug zappers that you can put in here. And uh, um, the very few little bugs that do get in here, that usually clears them out. Um, and then there's lighting up there. And then lighting up here, um, all in these tubes. I have to, um, it's kind of interesting. The, this, this trailer is originally built in the UK, but designed by Aust Australians. So that's kind of why, you know, the whole ruggedness and off-roading, but they do some really interesting things when they brought it over to the United States. These dimmer switches, they're wired backwards. They got the male and female ends on the wrong input output. So I'm either just gonna order some new ones on Amazon or bust those open and switch out the wires. But anyways, the other cool thing is, and I don't have it set up, so you're just gonna have to believe me. Um, but I have a uh, instant hot water propane hookup, it comes right here. There's a metal arm that swings out and then the instant propane hot water heater sits right here. And, uh, and then I have a very similar two room uh, uh, outhouse tent, uh, shower tent thing that sets up right here. And so you get your uh, water coming out and hooks up and you have instant hot water. And then this also does have um, a shower here, but it's not hot water. So we usually use this one um, for cleaning off, you know, your feet or toys or, you know, uh, cleaning dishes or, you know, that kind of stuff. And then we use the hot water one right over here so i don't know, didn't want to make the video too long i still i hope i can send it to you as it is we're at seven minutes now but just kind of want to show you a trailer I, I was setting it up getting it out of the winter and realized i don't think i ever showed it to you all right take it easy